Eighty-six. Balance Beauty Supply Search CC's Beauty. Nine hundred Thornton Road, Lithia Springs, Georgia. And I got all the stuff I needed to dye my hair blonde for ten dollars and fifty-five cents. Got developer value of fifty. Got a bowl. $99. This is $3.99. The tools to mix the developer with the powder. I have the powder I always get. You don't know. I was thinking about getting the blue bleach, but I just didn't. Um, also, you will need to um, have your favorite oil or any kind of hair oil. Make sure you got gloves and your favorite grease or any kind of grease. You can use Vaseline. You want to um, pull your edges and you want to get some oil sheet in case it starts burning. Just spray this while it's burning. Just uh, oil the make sure the scalp is oiled up because you don't want the scalp to burn. And all your edges and your ears have it. necessarily do all that parting and stuff you can just put it on the whole head if you're doing the whole head I'm doing the whole head so I'm just gonna put it on there like I did my other color like I did my black because I'm not just doing the roots for a touch-up um, if I was gonna touch up I think I recommend you to probably go dry it out more straighter or comb it out straighter but this is a, a virgin so this is the ghetto way of this is the ghetto way I apply it and it works every time. I've been doing it for a long time. When I initially put it on. Now, to touch it up, you definitely need to use the brush because you don't want to put the, if you like the color, you don't want to put the color on. Um, this is a scooper. So if you have like the powder bleach, you have a big thing, you can just scoop some. I don't need that. This is the mixing tool to mix it. I don't have to use this. I mean, most people just use the brush. If you don't have to brush you, I mean, if you don't have this, you can just use the brush. What I said you didn't really need. Which, I'm probably going to use it for the edges and then I'm just going to put the rest on by hand. Hoodly. So first I'm putting the powder in the bowl. Uh, I have a lot of hair, so I'm just going to use the whole pack. If you have long hair, you might need up to four packs of powder. Some people only use half. If your hair is like real, real short, you just, like say you got it cut, you just, you just, uh, it's short, you don't need that much. You don't need all of this. This, uh, this is the only size they had. I use 50 because my hair is real dark and I want as light as I can get it this um, time. I mean, it can get pretty light from this color. You just have to leave it on. So you can use this to mix it if you don't have a mixer. Like what I got. Or you can use this. Look like a cake batter mixer. 
which is pretty cool. Now, this is my first time using this thing. And this reminds me of cook, making cake. Uh, I have pretty medium left here. It's, some people consider it long. I say if it's to the shoulders or just a little bit past. It's medium left. To me, this is like medium left here. You might need a shower cap if you own one. I'm just going to use a plastic bag. And I'll show y'all part two how it comes out. But I only pay, pay $10 for this stuff. And I'm going to get... I mean, I'm going to get quality results. I mean, I've been doing this for years, so that's why I know. Be careful, don't drip none of your eyes. I suggest um, do all the edges first. Because even if you don't get um, the inside good, if you pull up in a ponytail, you want the, um, the edges to look good. Y'all pray my hair don't fall out. <laughs> I've been doing it a while, but I haven't did the blonde coloring here, so. I've been having it black for like the past two or three years. So make sure you get All of your edges first. Um, with other people, I would do it the professional way. I'm just doing it this way for myself because, like I said, this is just the girl way. I'm doing it quickly. This is how I, because you need the main thing is <clears throat> getting it all over all the hair quick as possible. Um, I was debating on did I want to dye the side or not. I wonder if would I look weird if the rest is blonde and the side is black. I think I'm gonna just leave it black for now. And if it looks weird later on, I go back and dye it blonde too. Now I'm just gonna take my hands and divide it. And get it in the middle too. I think you should um, definitely put the color on going away from the eyes because you don't want to actually get in the eyes, whatever you do. Then, when I say what I do next is just kind of the, this is what I do this kind of get on down here. I'm not advising this for everybody. This, I just kind of flop it in one on hair, hair everywhere because it's a virgin. So I just make sure it gets everywhere. Just, I've been doing this a long time and it works. But just only do this the first time. Don't do this. Um, you can't do this the second time because the second time you just need the roots. You're not going to need the whole head. And I just kind of put it all over like shampoo. But make sure you do the front. I would say recommend doing the front first. And, the, and all the edges. And it's, it's already starting to turn. <laughs> so I better hurry up. Y'all gonna be laughing. Now if I mess it up, oh well. At least it's my hair. But I've done this before and it didn't mess up. And just now you just kind of make sure it's all in the hair. I just put it all in. It goes through evenly because I just put me in like, now I'm just putting me in like like shampoo. I'm just plopping chunks of it all over my hair until my whole head is saturated with the bleach. Since it's a virgin, this is just a quick getaway doing it. Because I've been doing it a long time like this. When I do a virgin on my own hair. I've done virgin more than one time. Cut y'all off a lot of times and then I 
I'll say, I don't want to color it again, so. And you want to make sure it's all the way through the hair. I just do this and just put it on there like shampoo. This is like for the virgin. Now, you, like I said, you can't do this every time because then your hair will fall out. You can only do this the initial time. And this is just a quick way that I do it. Now, I don't. It might not be for everybody. People might be laughing at me, but this is a quick way because you need to get it on there as quick as possible. Because it's the color is changing, so you need to get it on there as quick as possible. Emphasis on quick as possible. Because you don't want it to be different color. And then, you can also use a little heat. Once you get it all the way on there, you can put a bag over it or some plastic over it and use some heat to make it change quicker. So this is just a ghetto way of um, doing it. I'm gonna use some heat too. That's like a blow dryer on top of a uh, shower cap. Or if you can't, if you can't afford a shower cap like me, just use a bag. It's gonna be a part two. So I'm gonna put the bag on it and put some heat on it now. So make sure you get it all the way through. You want to make sure the whole hair is saturated. If not, like I said, you think your hair is too long or it's longer than mine, you might need to buy two powder. And you may have to uh, process it twice if you didn't have enough. But once you come to this point, you just want to keep going through it with your hands and stuff. Make sure. If you're doing it my way, make sure that the whole, all the hair is saturated. As you can see, it's already turning. I don't want that orange color. I want it blonde. So I'm just going to leave it in. You don't have to put the plastic in the heat, but that will assist it in lightening a lot faster. My plug is not working right here. So like I said, I'm going to have to do a part two. But this is um, what it looks like. It's all wet. I'm just gonna take a plastic bag because I can't afford it down there. I'm just gonna put it over it. And close it tight. Then I'm gonna go get uh, my blow dryer and I'm gonna heat it up. So, uh, part two, I will show you the outcome, what happened. I'm gonna leave it in about 20, 20 minutes. No longer than 45 minutes at the longest. So 
if, especially if you got kids around, you want to wrench um, your mixing bowl, all your stuff, and um, make sure anything like this is in the trash where kids can't get to it. And clean off your uh, surfaces and stuff. Make sure no more chemicals. You want to wash your bowls out while you, before you heat your hair, if you can just sit there and wash your bowls out. Chemical. You can always check on it to see how it's taken. Just look under the bag. The heat from your own, even if you don't have a blow dryer, if you just put a bag over it, the heat from your own hair, from your own head will help it to take faster. The heat from your body will help to develop the hair, the uh, color. I know this is ghetto, but like I told y'all, it's, it's just a ghetto way that I've done it for years. I just never really show anybody. And it works I mean, when you're when you're doing a virgin process. Now, when you're um when you're touching it up, you can't do that because then you will be lightening it. You will be lightening uh, lightening the whole head. Be careful with this stuff. Try not to uh, splash it in your eyes or nothing. I'm going to give y'all a part two. Um, that was part one. $10 uh, blonde. So, yep. Grab my hand.